was just how big an effect the whole Abaya thing had on me. is the fact that when you come to a place you find a way to you know integrate into the system of course definitely you have to the fact that you have chosen to come to this you no know, find a way to blend into their life do that which they, they seem to actually take quite seriously so the point of the whole thing is when you come to a place you have to like adjust that's the word. adjust into the system find a way to like to blend it not acclimatize with the people and their way of life you know it's culture the way that i first came i was like i see women most saudi arabians actually the arabian women i see them everywhere on black on black black on black on black on black i'm like wow what is this <laughs> you know and somehow of course i get to realize it's their culture and they've gotten so used to it that oh the normal thing black is everywhere black is the new sexy black is the new <laughs> so guys a part of me when i first came was not so easy blending in you know wearing a pie like how do i have to but now guys every part of me loves a <laughs> i've gotten so used to it that when i go out without wearing a i don't feel comfortable yes you're wondering if it's compulsory to wear abaya in saudi actually there was a time when it was very compulsory but the crown prince now has made changes to some of those very strict policies like relaxing wearing of abaya in public places so it is no more compulsory for you to wear abaya in saudi arabia it's no more in fact i think people just wear it out of respect like sometimes when i go to like Riyadh or Jeddah and of course people don't wear most foreigners don't wear abaya but somehow i feel like i feel i'm so uncomfortable i have to i have to be covered and all that so i i just find myself always wanting to wear the abaya so it's not that i am forced to wear it but I just want to because i feel this is out of respect for the people i'm in their place so that is why <laughs> secondly i realized that when i went back to nigeria i went back home guys I, I i realized that anytime i want to go out i get dressed i'm dressed to go out but i feel there is something missing out like i feel uh, i feel awkward like i'm exposed <laughs> you know there is something i'm not wearing there's something that doesn't feel right about this my dressing and i remember oh i've been in saudi for some time and i've gotten used to wearing an abaya and it's quite free you know it affords you the freedom to i'm like no i feel exposed and guys i i i i don't know but somehow to get myself more kimonos i found myself getting kimono kimonos comes close to abaya it's an abaya actually but not the abaya on pure black you know it's another stylish kind of afterwear and abaya is an afterwear too because you actually wear something in and then wear the abaya over what you're wearing so i found myself getting an abaya and that was just how big an effect the whole abaya thing had on me i didn't feel comfortable just wearing jeans out i didn't feel comfortable just wearing palazzos out i just felt like there's always something missing there is something missing out in this my dress right? <laughs> so i've somehow come to love this abaya i've somehow come to like really appreciate this this level of decency and to think that when you even dress on abaya you afford you the freedom to like you know style out and all that <laughs> so that is it about today's abaya so guys boom i'll be taking you into my stylish styling out some very pretty abayas let's go guys
you very much for watching.